Today I'm going to talk about the mystery of the flat lettuce. About 10 days ago, I planted giant Caesar lettuce heads into this crafty bucket. I used a GrowStar three head LED light that they claimed would be equivalent to about a 150 watt light. And when I checked it out, it actually has about 315 LED lights in it, and the maximum uh, amount of wattage that goes through it is about 22.3 watts. And so it's not up to the specs that they advertise. However, in testing, I thought that I could use it for something that does not require a lot of light, such as lettuce or uh, just, just starting seeds, for example. So what happened? Well, given the 10 days um, that I had to run this short test, the first thing I found was the lettuce seed was good, very viable. All four cells popped up with lettuce uh, right away. But over time, the uh, stem that comes up out of where the uh, seedling comes up was very thin and the leaves were very sparse. They just kind of flopped over and didn't seem to go anywhere. So here's my speculation as to what went wrong. First off, uh, you can't have hard fast rules on LED lights because there's a lot of variables built into them. But with this 22.3 uh, watt light, one of the things that you can say, just kind of a general rule of thumb, is that if I have the light uh, halfway between where it's currently at and the top of the plants, it's going to be stronger. Now that's a given. Uh, if you were measuring light, you could put a test uh, measurement uh, probe you know, up underneath the light directly, and you'll find that the light quality is a lot stronger up here than it is on the surface of the plants. Uh, roughly what you could say is that um, if the light is originally closer and it's uh, running you know, just we'll use a random number like 100. If we double the distance of the light and bring it up a little bit higher, you're going to lose a lot of light. It's going to actually uh, end up with a factor of about 25 or a fourth of what the original light intensity was over the plants. So if I were to retest, what I would do is move these LEDs even closer to the plants just in hopes of getting things up to where they need to be. Now the other is, uh, with LED lighting, you can't really say you need so many watts per square foot, you know, for an effective grow. But as a general rule of thumb, again, you, you can try to go that direction. So um, 32 watts per square foot is kind of a nice measurement. So if you take a, a little bit of math, you can say that the uh, amount of square inches, square inches in a square foot would be 144 square inches. So 32 watts over 144 square inches is about where you want to be. So with a 22.3 watt light, that's going to have about an effective coverage range of a 10 inch by 10 inch uh, grow area. And anyone who's ever grown lettuce knows that uh, one head of lettuce could quickly uh, take over that size grow area. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to retest. I'm going to drop these lights down and we'll take a look to find out whether or not that was the answer. So stay tuned. 